Warning. The extension of stay as well as the change of certain types of visas is solely at the discretion of the immigration officers. The information in this video is intended as a general guideline only. It does not in any way replace or supersede Thailand's immigration and related laws or regulations. Before relying on this information in this video, viewers should independently verify its accuracy and relevance for their purpose. Visas in Thailand can be very confusing. The rules are constantly changing. Most things you read and most opinions you hear are normally completely wrong. There are lots of different visas with constantly changing rules and the Thai government's website can be very confusing at best and hard to understand. The rules and conditions of entry into the kingdom. Tourists are denied entry into Thailand for many different reasons. Now, make sure. It is a certainty you will be turned away from the Thai borders or airports if you do not have a visa that is valid for six months. Do be aware though, if you arrive more than twice in 12 months period at a border without a valid visa and expect to be given 30 days stay, you will be turned away. Have a return ticket. You can either buy a cheap one-way outbound ticket through an airline. You can go to any one of the neighboring countries at a very low price. Proof of funds. No matter the type of visa you have, you may be still asked to show proof of funds. That amount currently is 20,000 baht. Hello there, Stephen from Thailand Unplugged. Hope you're all fit and well. I will be leaving Vincent Lau and heading for Sawinapum Airport in Bangkok. Yes, after getting my 60-day tourist visa to go back to Thailand for 60 days. And then the fun begins. You won't believe what happens to me going through immigration in Bangkok. From Vincent Lao to Sawinapum Airport, Bangkok went very smoothly. They're a great airline to fly with, Bangkok Air. And now the fun begins getting back into Thailand through customs. I didn't have any check in baggage, so I got the customs very quickly. So I gave the immigration officer my passport and he's been flicking through it for about oh six seven eight minutes and I said is there a problem and he asked me how long do you want to stay in Thailand for I said well I got a 60 day tourist visa so 60 days I guess and he said follow me please sir so I thought uh oh so I followed him we went around to another counter where there was a woman sitting there obviously the person in control so she grabs my passport and starts flicking through it again. I, they didn't tell her what the problem was at all just yet. She said, where are you staying in Thailand? This is not a hotel you've written on this document. I said, I'm staying with my friend Mao. She said, you live with a Thai girl. I said, yes. She said, and you're not married. I said, no, we're not. You cannot live in Thailand with a Thai girl without being married. We don't like this. I thought to myself, wow, this is getting really interesting. We don't like this or you don't like this. Ooh. She said, you live in Thailand, yes? I said, yes, I live in Thailand. She said, uh, you have the wrong visa. You should have a retirement visa. I said, I'm leaving Thailand. I'm packing up my things and leaving. I said, I didn't need a year because my car got damaged just recently in an accident. That's why I need a little bit more time to stay in Thailand. I'm not staying for a year. I don't need a retirement visa. Well, somehow I don't think she was really listening. She said, follow me, please, sir. Okay, we're off again. So we get on to the third custom officials, a lady who starts to flick through my passport again like there's no tomorrow. You've had retirement visas before. Why did you not get another retirement visa? Once again, I explained to him I'm not staying in Thailand for another year. I'm leaving. She said, you can't come into Thailand on this visa. You need a retirement visa. 
You're trying to live in Thailand on a tourist visa instead of a retirement visa. I said, no I'm not, I'm going home. I just need some time to pack up and sell my car. My car's damaged. It was damaged, I, I couldn't get out in time. She said, you got a tourist visa three months before this one. She said, you're trying to stay in Thailand on a tourist visa. I said, no I'm not. My car got damaged in the last few weeks and I need time to fix it and get out of Thailand. I'm trying to get my car fixed. I need a little bit more time to do that and then go back to Australia. She said, you cannot come into Thailand on this visa. You need to go and buy a return ticket now. I said to her, where am I going to get a return ticket at this time of night to Australia? At this time, it was coming on to about 10 p.m. at night. So I gave uh, Mal a phone call and she spoke to them on the phone because uh, their English wasn't 100%, but they were, they were okay. And uh, Mal explained to them what happened and blah, blah, with the car and everything. And um, they said to Mal, we'll give him three weeks, but he must buy a return ticket to Australia now. I said, I don't have access to that type of money at 10 o'clock at night. My cards are limited. So Mal said she'd go and get the cash out of the bank and uh, bring it to the airport and somehow buy a ticket back to Australia when everything was closed at the airport. There was one airline open that was, uh, I think it was Thai Airlines. So Mal hung up and she headed towards the airport. Oh, we're not finished yet. It got more exciting after this. They said I could have three weeks and that was it. Then it became, became two weeks. I was only allowed to stay here for two weeks in Thailand. Then it became one week I could stay in Thailand. I wasn't really talking to him, she's just coming back with all these figures and I thought to myself, yeah, we're doing a countdown, I think. After a while, I got the bombshell. You can't come into Thailand at all. I said, well, what's the problem? Uh, you know, I got a, a tourist visa, I got it from the embassy. The Thai consulate general in Lao. She said, you have a tourist visa, you're trying to live here in Thailand on a tourist visa. I said, no, I'm not, I'm going home. So no matter what I said to the Thai immigration officials, nothing was working after that, so I just gave up. I said to the customer official, why would the Lao Thai Embassy give me a tourist visa if I wasn't allowed to have one? And her answer to that was amazing. She said, oh, that's a different department. I said, it's a different what? I said, oh, welcome to the land of smiles. So anyway, after a bit of negotiating, I got uh, back up to a week. I could uh, stay in Thailand for one week. So anyway, I'm sitting there and explaining to me, I do good things in Thailand. I, I do a, a YouTube channel and I promote Thailand in a positive way. I always have. And I showed her the YouTube channel and she's scratching her head and um, she's looking at it. You've got 10,000 subscribers. I said, yes, yes, 10,000. So she walked off with my phone and started showing other Thai customs officials. Another Thai immigration official came up and started flicking through my passport again. But he was different. He was actually reading things. He said to me, why did you not get a retirement visa? You've had them before. I said, I, I, I didn't need one. I'm not staying a year. I, I only wanted a, a short extension. He told me that they were having a crackdown at the moment from people misusing tourist visas and staying permanently in Thailand. He said, well, you know, I'm not misusing it. I just want to pack my stuff and go. I, I needed more time. He said, I believe you. Okay, follow me. I thought, oh, here we go. Here's a cavity search. He said, stand on the line. And he said, how, how, many, how much time do you need? I said, um, well, I, I applied for um, 60 days. He said, you can have 60 days. No problem. He said, he, he said I'm sorry about this, but we're, uh, we're doing random checks on people, um, misusing uh, tourist visas. And it, it did look like you were doing it until we uh, had a good look at it. And he told me, if you're going to stay in Thailand next time, he said, get a retirement visa, okay? I said, no problem, I'll get one, easy, no problem. Okay, I don't mind. I just don't want the hassle at the airports, you know? Nobody does, I don't think. Yeah, all through this, the Thai immigration officials were only doing their job. Was it YouTube that did it? I don't know. Oh, well. And my advice to anybody that's uh, traveling to Laos for a visa, a visa run, Use the bus companies, okay? You, you glide through everything. You glide through immigration. You glide through uh, the Thai Consulate General in Laos. Uh, when you go through the immigration, you uh, go straight through, no problems. I don't know why, but just use the bus, trust me. It's, everything runs smoothly. Well, I hope you like this video and uh, it's helpful for you. So if you've got any comments about this video, please put them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer each and every one of them the best I can. Hit the like button if you did. 
And don't forget the bell notification and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next video.